Agnes Burton has extreme pornography in her sights, which is uh, unusual because barons are normally the ones running pornography, aren't they? As that well? Yeah, the porn barons said, there. Yeah. Uh, extreme online pornography could be banned, says Tory Pinn. Now, this Baroness Burton, she is the independent reviewer of porn. Mm. What a title! How did she get that one? I'm like, I feel like I missed out there. No one well, asked I me. I have that, that in Hove, but uh, oh, really? yeah, but that, you're the local, you're the yeah, local, yeah. your local councillor for that. Subsidiarity. Um, and she, there's an interesting thing here where uh, it, some of the images that are online legally accessible because it's streaming. Yeah. If you owned a video of it or a DVD, yeah, yeah. it would be illegal. That's how extreme the stuff is. So it is, is important. Crazy, it, it? it is tainting arguably younger people yeah. and even older people. Uh, this isn't good stuff. And we've obviously just... It's coming on the back of the online safety bill, which is bad wording. Um, but th there is an argument to um, bring it under the auspices or all pornography under the auspices of, uh, like, the, the BBFI or whatever, the, the Film yeah. Classification Board. So at least then... There, it, it reaches a certain level, yeah. is the point. They do occasionally, don't they, some of the organisations try and self-police a little bit. I know Pornhub had a sort of big clear-out a couple of years ago and, uh, you know... So they said, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, you know what, I'm torn, because if we just ban porn outright, it would improve society and it would free up a lot of my spare time. So I'm thinking, mm. may we do that, but on the same time, do you want the government... As you say, the, the B BBFC is involved as well. Do you want the government, though, with the online safety bill, getting involved in anything? Because famously, the governments do things badly and it's more censorship, so that's that's why I'm concerned. It's very it's very difficult yeah. territory, isn't it? The, the 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 concern would be, I'm sure, that if it would be a little bit like Spotify or whatever, mm. you know, that if you didn't have some kind of legal access, then it would just go underground. And the government, the one thing the government has proven it's incapable of doing is is winning any kind of technology war. It has to yeah. sort of win it on a moral business basis. Did you say that's like Spotify? Yeah. How? Is, is there like an underground Spotify? Well, just if, if Spotify is not exactly the same, but the point of Spotify is it's a legal route to, to streaming music mm. and the, none of the record companies like the idea of streaming, but they oh, at least right. have a contract with, with Spotify. I mean, the, the, they get some revenue. But none of the performers get, yeah. get much, do they? That's the problem. Performers get hardly anything, but at performers. least it's in some kind of control. Yeah. And you know what? I think that some kind of control like that does make a difference because I think people just are lazy at the, ultimately and they will just go, oh, I'll just watch this then. I think so.